Okay, it is decision time. I've been weighing on this quite heavily, and I just have to say, first of all, uh, to you guys, thank you very, very much for all of the comments that you guys left uh, in support of either path. I think in about three hours, there were like 150 comments or something, and um, for a channel of my size, that is actually quite a bit of activity. And I would encourage you guys to just go back to the previous episode and just read through the comments. Um, I know that a lot of people are probably quick to put out their opinions, but if you just read through the comments, like I was just amazed at the quality of thought that, that went into it. And uh, I'm just, I'm constantly surprised at the intelligence that you guys demonstrate and the thought process that goes into everything that you guys say on these random videos on the internet. So thank you for that. That being said, I have to talk about a couple of things before I announce my choice. Um, first things first, okay? As this game progresses, I'm gonna, obviously I'm choosing a side. As this game progresses, I'm asking you guys, please do not tell me anything about what would have happened on the other side. Because as I've mentioned a couple times, I will be going back and playing this again a few months before The Witcher 3 is announced, and I'll be playing it on my channel, and I'll be picking the other side and making a few of the other choices that were available to me in the game. So I want that to be as fresh as possible. Uh, that said, out of all of these comments, pretty much everybody uh, went into one of three buckets. So uh, the first bucket, I would say, is that you took all the info we know to this point, and uh, all the experiences that we've had in this uh, playthrough so far and formed an opinion based on that which is I think probably the way that that I've tried to do things and I think that's probably the most beneficial for me in helping my decision process uh, the second thing is people looked at it from a lore perspective right so from just a straight Witcher perspective, you know that they're really focused on kind of neutrality and uh, honor, as much honor as like a Witcher can have, and uh, they tailored their approach that way. The third kind of perspective that people had that I thought was really interesting is from a gameplay perspective. And uh, while that's fair, that, that kind of stuff doesn't really factor into my decision making uh, for the simple reason that most of those people had played both paths and they say, well, I actually preferred this path because it's more entertaining or I actually preferred this path because uh, it was this or that. It was darker. It was this, right? And for me, those don't weigh as much uh, into the decision because uh, you wouldn't know that if you're going along with just the story. So that's, I just want to say thank you. For all of that stuff because uh, it did help me although um, my decision has come down to a couple of things and I'm gonna tell you tell you what uh, first of all it's not and this is this is pretty much a direct quote from somebody called mr. monkey monk and uh, he didn't he or she did not suggest a path basically they said it's not really a question of who do I trust the most it's a question about who benefits me the most. And I thought that was really interesting because, first of all, both Yorveth and Roach have their own benefits to me um, as a Witcher. They both do. And uh, it really got me thinking, like, what is my kind of primary uh, focus right now? And, and then it got me thinking, okay, where are my allegiances and where, like... There's just a, it just really challenged my my thought process. Um, at the end of the day, I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna trust my gut on this. And judging by the two comments that I left on the video, where it was Yorveth and uh, Roach, actually it was surprisingly very even. But uh, one of the paths was a little bit um, a little bit more highly favored, I would say. But I have to trust my gut, and I have to say there's just too many unanswered questions about Yorveth, and I've decided that I'm going to actually uh, go with Roach, and we'll see how things play out from here. I know that some people are going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe you picked Roach. And then some people are going to be stoked, and uh, I just have to trust my gut. That's the only thing. There are other people that kind of question, like, well, what does it matter? You're going to play both anyways. 
I don't know. I'm like pretty invested. I'm pretty invested in the story. I'm pretty invested in this game, and it's dictating. This is a big decision, and uh, I enjoy games that make me think like this. And uh, I typically play from the character's perspective, so it just weighs on me pretty heavily. And I, I have, I've gone through everything. I've read through every single comment you guys posted. I made a post on Reddit asking people how they made their decisions. I like. Pfft, Everything you could think of. I've been reading the, the books lately, just trying to get into it, and uh, I've decided that I'm going to go with Roach. Yes. And I will say, not to be totally distracting, but if you look right behind Vest there, there's like a floating head or something. That is really weird. I think there's like a, the guard outside. Maybe he's got a peephole or something. Anyways. So we're going to talk to Roach. And we're gonna see what happens, man. I'm like, Geralt, we don't totally have time. Nervous. Let's get to work. All right, let's deal with this spy. Listen very carefully. I'm not repeating this. We have two targets. The first is a Kedwini spy, Arnold Malaga. I want him alive. The other is Bernard Lurido, the trading post commander and a traitor to Temeria. We don't let his kind live. Arnold almost never leaves the residence, so we need to strike there. To get inside, we'll use Vess's unusual talents and Bernard's habits. Stop calling him by his first name. It really rubs me the wrong way. Whatever you wish. Lurido's house. <laughs> the first floor contains guest quarters. Oh, sick. Geralt okay. had the opportunity to take a look. Regular patrols. Second floor, Lurido's bodyguard's quarters. They think they're the toughest warriors this side of the Yoruga, but really they're lame drowners dressed in colorful gambesons. Third floor, the lion's den. Here, Lurido stores plundered valuables. It's where he sleeps, shits, and wanks off while staring at the statuette of a she-elf. <laughs> Only the following are allowed to enter. Arnold Malaga, Lurido's mother, his cousin, and whores. I'm not sure I still have that frog. After making his round of the trading post, Lurido always orders two ladies. Vess will act as one of them. The house is a bloody fortress, but Lurido had it enlarged. The Witcher will enter through the extension. Vess will open a window for you. Once in, you'll have to improvise, Geralt, but you'll have the element of surprise. Vess can hold her own, too. Zenon and Rickard will cover you from vantage points. If things get hot, lure those horsens near the windows. I'll be in the courtyard with the rest, ready to enter in the extreme. I repeat, in the extreme. That's all. Any questions? No? Let's get to work. Okay, so... Listen. Roach found out that uh, there's this spy. Uh, one of Henselt's spies, I think. Uh, working with Lorito. Vernon's waiting inside. And he's obviously not happy about that, so we want to find this spy. And I agree. Um, basically, Lorito made a deal with Kedler, right? And Henselt is the king of that country. So the guy Welcome, living people. with Lorito right now is one of Henselt's agents. And I guess that they kind of paid off Lorito to support them in the case of a uh, of some type of, like, conflict I think they described it so rather interesting and I for one would love to get my hands on this You're too spy. early return after dark I don't know where I can rest can I only rest in certain places here seems good let's go right to midnight the other thing I want to say too that that did factor into my decision is loyalty to Foltes, and I still feel like I always I always did trust Foltes. I thought he was a very like he was very upfront with us. He I didn't feel like he was ever trying to trick me or ever disrespect me. Your chariot me, awaits, really. fair youth. The good spirits of this tower will guide and protect you. <laughs> I I like Foltes a lot, and when. When he was assassinated, I was actually pretty pissed because I loved, I actually really loved his character. Oh, someone's running away. Potentially prostitute number, oh Jesus. Where are you? 
Hiding? You like oh. playing hide and seek? I'll Always find looking for you. her. Come on, pre ah. Whoa, that was too <laughs> close. <laughs> okay. Death to the traitor. Find Helen. Who the hell is Helen? Um. Sneaking through the garden of Laredo's mansion, the Witcher came upon a foreign merchant. He froze for a moment, unsure of how to deal with the inconvenient witness. Avoided or disposed of him, but then in an instant he chose his path. When the lustful foreigner fell to the ground and stopped causing trouble, our hero thought it would be prudent to look for the last the would-be lover did not manage to catch. Helena. Okay. For that was the girl's name, was apparently angered by the man's less than gentle attentions and could prove to be a valuable ally. Interesting. Okay. So I guess we're looking for her. But... What the hell? That is not gonna be... Not gonna be easy. Okay, so how many guards do we have here? We have that guy. We have that guy. We have a few sitting at this table, it looks like. Jeez, okay. I kind of got to figure out their patrol routes here. Like, this guy's just kind of going back and forth, it looks like. What about the guy over there? Oh, yeah, he's on the move, too. That has me a bit nervous. Oh, he's actually not just a back and forth type. Because he was over here before, was he not? Okay. Now, if this guy goes... Now, if this guy goes... There we go. I'm going to try to isolate this guy. Oh, Jesus. Put him down. Ah! Put out the torch! Storage key and short sword. Alright, that works. I'm carrying too much weight. Are you joking me? I don't have time to deal with this right now. Now what though? Whoa, okay. Looks like we found her. No! Oh damn! That could be bad. Okay, this is all starting to feel familiar now. You're this new girl's friend? Where is she? The commander took her to the tower. Hurry! How did you know? She's obviously not one of us. A hooker always knows a hooker. <laughs> so I guess something was going to happen. Before they took her, she whispered, Window in the extension. When that bastard went to take a pee, I noticed you climbing over the wall. How do I get to Laredo? When he's having it off, he lets no one in. But his mother has keys. You must really love her taking such risks. Right. Where's what? the mother? In the basement, distilling fist tech. Thanks. Now go. Climb over the wall and run. If a tall man dressed in blue stops you, tell him everything. Tell him his plan was ingeniously simple. Thank you. If you manage to enter the tower, kill the bastard witcher. He should die slowly and painfully for all he did to us. I think I actually agree with killing somebody for once. So now we got to find his mother. And it sounds like Vess is in with him at the top area. She's all like, oh, you must really love her. I think she's a bit confused. All right, but how the hell am I going to get up there? Do I have a way to go in this way? Oh, I actually do. Okay. Last time I visited, this was not so open. Oh, oh look at this asshole. What is he doing? Uh, 
Oh, this is gonna be really bizarre. Oh, that's gonna make noise. Oh, I almost forgot about all- Oh, Jesus! Okay, I'm gonna try to knock him out. Wait until that light on the stairs turns away. Come here. Ah! Yeah, be quiet though when you go down next time. He's got a bunch of swords. I do not need your garbage. I have to be really careful about making noise here. Should have planned this out better. Everything's so heavy. But I'm still cheap and I need to I need to save money. Things I can sell. Okay, well, I'm gonna drop the sword that I found. Okay, now where is that taking me? I don't I don't really like where that's taking me. Oh, this is okay. I see where we are here. What do you want? Oh my god. The key to the upper quarters. I know you have it. You want to free the elven girl. Elven Your girl. efforts are in vain. Like in Ithleen's prophecy. The seed has been planted and will soon sprout. Shut up and give me the key. The key. The key. Do not make me finger wag you, bro. Where did I put it? Oh! Oh my god, that was so sick. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, but I'm all like fist tacked up here. Oh my god, that was so awesome. I need this to wear off and I need to stop grabbing heavy items. Uh, you know what? Let's find something that I don't really need a lot of. Let's drop a bunch of this cloth. Not gonna find any of it. There we go. I'm normal again. This is so cool. But what was she? What is this all about? Like, what is this signifying? I'm wondering if there's more to her than I was anticipating, but. <laughs> that is absolutely disgusting. Oh my god, Vess. Okay, I actually feel really bad for her in that situation for a lot of reasons, but... Oh, this is not where we want to be. Uh... What's going on here? Why can't I go back in? There we go. Um... But her past, she had something happen to her. She was like attacked or raped. I can't remember the explicit details, but... Uh-oh. OK, 
Okay, hit the wall here. There we go. Whoa, okay. At least two guys. One back there by the window. Or is that the guy that came out here that just went back in? If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that's how Roach found Vess. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is not good. I kind of want to get into that mailbox there. There's three guys in here. Are you kidding? Maybe this is a good chance. Oh, it's open. Oh my god. Okay. I am I'm out of here. I kind of want to investigate that. Uh oh. This looks like it would just be a really bad idea to go in there. Oh. Stay away. You're dressed like a whore, behave like one. First I'll plow you, and then I'll slice what? off your tits. Does that strike your fancy? Cut off your own horse and- No! Oh, I love it when bitches bark. How the hell? Uh, one of these guards maybe have it? hope here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, do not touch anything. <sighs> Fast, I'm coming. Oh my god. Ah, what am I gonna do? How's this gonna go down? Oh, uh, I don't know. Okay. We're going in next episode. I know you guys are gonna hate it. God, you're gonna be pissed. I'm so sorry. It has to happen. Just kidding. Do you guys think I would be that evil? I would never be that evil. I might be, but I'm not. Not this time. Uh, before we go in here, I do want to just quickly read the uh, letter uh, that we found in the mailbox as to His Excellency Death Mold of Bernard, private and confidential. I wish to apologize for the behavior of my mother once more. The hag has been mad since I can remember, and I always wondered how she managed to acquire enough wealth to buy the house and guarantee my office in Flotsam. I hope His Highness's emissary was not permanently disturbed by her excesses. I solemnly swear that the red-hot circlet was just a f circlet was just a foolish jest. Furthermore, I confirm that I will use my position and office according to His Royal Highness's wishes. Yeah, as was agreed at the meeting. As a patriot, I wholeheartedly agree with your excellence's opinion. Flotsam cannot allow chaos and lawlessness, plagues inseparable from interregnum, to rule its streets. The king is dead. Long live the king. Bernard Laredo, Flotsam Garrison Commander. What a dick. Not... I don't... I don't like him. Nope. It's funny because... I think I made the comment earlier, way, way longer ago, that Laredo is actually like a well-spoken guy. And, yeah, let's see what's going on. Oh, Vess, yep. Or not. It's a trap! Look out! Uh, uh, slice off his head. Or oh, we have an old-fashioned throwdown here, Lorito. I do not mind. Whoa, that was intense. <laughs> You won't leave here alive! You kill the son of a bitch! Okay, this guy I think I can handle. This is this is no letho. Yeah, this is working out pretty well. You don't like that? 
Well, that, that actually kind of hurt. Yeah. Tougher to kill a soldier than a bandit, eh? Yeah, you're tougher than your mother was, but you'll oh, die just the same. Make him die in pain! He's even tossing out bomb jokes. Fuck, that's the shit. What now, Lorito? Ball shriveling! Ball shriveling, all right. Prick. All right, what is he? He's got to have something interesting Quick, going on. Quick, untie me. Okay, can I check all the stuff first? Geralt, we've no time to lose. She needs help. We need to get her out of here. Okay, just hold on, Vess. I gotta make sure I get all my stuff here. I'm probably gonna take a lot of heat for this. Ah, uh, just kidding. Okay, Vess. Geralt, we've no time to lose. Who's the she? Thanks, Geralt. I heard something behind that door. Oh, look at the blood on the wall, too. All right, let me drop some more stuff here. Ooh, this is kind of nice. Ah, oh, that's too bad mine's better. I will sell that, though. Oh, that's pretty good. A bunch of these enhancements are really good. Opens the Royal Mail drop box, which apparently was just open already. So I'm not too concerned. Let's drop some more crafting stuff, I guess. Do I really need 38 Necker Hearts? I don't think I do. Let's drop 18 of them. And I still need to get rid of more. Iron ore seems like something I should keep. It's really heavy, though. Maybe oil I'll drop. Okay, and I'm still not done. Necker teeth. I would need to drop a ton of them. I really need to just drop a ton of stuff in my in the chest. Okay, I'm gonna drop some leather. I find a lot of that. Geralt, we've no time to lose. She needs help. We need to get her out of here. Check the contents of the room next... Oh, okay. It wasn't showing up. Oh, there's a chicken here. Okay. Don't leave me here. Please. Oh, she's pregnant. You don't look like a whore, Elf. My name is Morrill. What month is it? This is no time to chat. Can you walk? I'll not stay here any longer. Even if I must crawl out. Oh. She won't make it through the garden, Geralt. We must leave by the front. Lead the way. We'll be right behind you. No way. Has he been keeping so her trapped in here? What month is it? Lammas. Autumn's begun. When they kidnapped me, it was snowing. And the child's father is... This child has only a mother. When I realized oh, no. I was pregnant. I wanted to kill myself. Don't say that. I am N. Shay. He raped her. I am get why. I imagine. Maybe not raped her, but. Well, I, no, I imagine he did. And then trapped her in that freaking room? Come on, you guys. Get through the door there. You can do it. Good job. Let's see here. Geralt found Marill and Elven Girl in the tower. The elf in the final stage of pregnancy needs to be brought outside as fast as possible. Okay, let's get moving. There was a door down here. Uh oh. I I can't make it. I think I Damn. Oh the water shit. Broke. Geralt change of plans. But back to the tower. I need a clean bed, hot water, and some time. We can't be disturbed. Go get help. What? Warning! Intruder in the town! Oh, okay, great. Ah! And we're fighting on this. Oh, this is bad. Ah! I'd like to take control of that big guy. 
I thought that would be it. Pretty confident, actually, that that was not going to work out well. Okay, these guys obviously aren't going to have anything useful. Let's get the hell out. Okay, let's do this. Well, I hear something going on out there, so I'm obviously not going to be alone. Geralt, I see we're in time. Yeah, just. Where have you been, Roach? A little problem along the way. I can't dodge. Uh, that's really not cool. Throw me in there like that. I guess it's all about blocking from here on out. Arrows included, thank God. I'm gaining back health a little bit here. Actually, surprisingly quick. I might just wait this one out until I get that back up. This is kind of cool, actually. <laughs> and it's forcing me to play, like, completely different. Because I'd be dodging all over this guy. Too bad I don't have any powers, because my regen actually goes pretty quick. Alright, let's start getting in there against this fool. Oh, he's going to come right there, isn't he? Oh. All right. What the hell? Maybe this is like... Maybe I'm being forced to lose this here because I can't even... Anytime I get close, he gets all ridiculous. Get your sword out. I'd rather fight you this way. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, after his little twirls there, that's when I gotta hit him. Oh, shit. 
run. This is working, surprisingly. <laughs> circle, circle him, circle him. Uh oh. I think if he gets too close like that, I don't have a choice. I need to wait till he does his little flurry of activity. Don't like that. Ah, uh, stay away. There it is. Nope. That's the one. No way. Get out of the way. Oh, so close. Enough. No way. So that was pretty intense. <laughs> what? Did I die? Defeated by a dwarf. Oh, sick. I must be getting old. What now? Consider yourself lucky. Though you deserve torture, I lack the means, so I'll simply lop off your head. You'll die a warrior's death. I don't regret a thing. Impending death has addled your mind. I don't regret that it's you. After so many years, it would be stupid to die from an accidental bolt in the eye. Or worse yet, influenza. Damn! Lucky again, your archers approach. I defeated you once, Jorven, and I can do it again. Remember that. We shall see about that, friend. We shall see. Oh, that's ominous. The horseman ran away, but I'm sure he'll show up again. Bloody non-humans. Enough of your vet. What's with Laredo and where's Vess? Laredo's dead. I saved Vess. Barely. What happened? Your plan was hardly the most. A boy, Geralt! A healthy what? boy! Whose child is that? Morals. Whose? We found an elf woman Laredo kidnapped almost a year ago. Oh, he was okay. the father. I'd never touch a she-elf. <laughs> Enough! We don't have time for that. The ship's waiting. <gasps> oh no. What? Why did you do it? Why? I hate this town. Prepare the boat. We sail immediately. What about the kid? It's not coming with us. And who in this hellhole will take in a half-breed? Saharam. Take it to Saharam in Lobenden. And Saharam. make sure to tell him it's Morrill's child. 